Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of AD&D's Curse of the Azure Bonds. This is using the DeForte Gold Box Engine Remaster. So we're going to, I'm getting close to releasing this over the next few weeks. So I'm going to do one more run at this. This time I'm going to try an Iron Man run just to see how that goes with all the new things that have been added and all the adjustments I've made to the monsters and everything. So brand new party, Iron Man. We'll see how we do. All right, so first thing I want to do, I'm actually going to make an elf female cavalier. And we're going to have some fun with that. Hey, Bo and Jimmy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You're shopping but lurking? <laughs> Glad to hear it, Bo. Really want to see this outcome? Jimmy says, putting the remaster through its Iron Man paces. That's right, Jimmy. Got to do it. It is, I'd say overall, it's going to be a little more difficult. But we have a lot more tactics that can be used. So, we'll see how it goes. All right. So with the Cavalier, I'm going to do, think about this for a minute. Let's do a long sword, short bow. Flail. Mace. The weapon of choice. We're going to make a long sword. All right, let's get it, see how high we can get our strength. Now, what's interesting is the Cavalier gets training. So they can go actually above the limits of the race and sex for some of the attributes. So let's try to get a high strength. Let's, let me see how many hit points we can get. 70 looks like about the max. Jimmy says, if the AI is smarter, yeah, it might be tough to take advantage of their former dumbness. Yeah, it's definitely smarter, but NPCs in your party will also be smarter. Not that you get many, but if you charm things, then they're smarter as well. I really want 18 dexterity. I want 18 something strength. Oh, nice. Okay. A bow? <laughs> you get a be a Female Elf Cavalier. I'm going to go ahead and do the icons right now. Let's see. Cavalier. There's really not got any Lance icon. I really shouldn't try to make one. I'll just do this instead. Okay. Kind of weird that you can't change the color of that bandana on their head. Bo, there we go. And looky what Bo gets to start with. Her very own unicorn. Hey, Mr. Spock and Bow Ladder, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yeah, happy Sunday. <laughs> or Monday if you live in the future. True. 
Okay. Level four female elves have a, a unicorn. All right, let's see. So we got a cavalier. I do want to do a paladin. Because of the protection from evil radius. It didn't work in the old game. It works in this one. And protection from evil has been enhanced greatly so that it repels. It, it won't allow anything with a natural attack that's evil. That's not using a weapon to hit a good party member that has this aura. Uh, you sh do I want to choose the weapon proficiencies? No, we'll let the computer do it. I definitely want to re-roll. High strength, high dex is a must. Constitution is actually even more important too now. Because I do check on raised dead and resurrection if you pass your resurrection your raised dead uh, throw or you're permanently destroyed that's what the rules say to do so that's what we did of course you can always cheat and save scum we're not doing that hey Sastam, welcome how are you doing How's your world been lately? Oh, that would have been so good. The dexterity is too low. That darn constitution. Not taking it. Paladin's got to be a tank, too. <laughs> hey, Hamatic, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Jimmy says, wisely, nobly, and bravely cheat to win. <laughs> it's Jimmy's motto. Well, I'm not taking away the ability to save scum. People can still do that. Here we go. Wow, this is a good paladin. Okay, so Jimmy was next. Jimmy, you are the paladin. Give you a beard. I don't know if you have a beard, Jimmy. But in in our Iron Man run, you do. Where's the shield? We need a shield. There we go. Yeah, the whole name fits. Yeah, we're doing an Iron Man run, huh? I'm this time, but an attempt. The game is harder. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun even if we get wiped. You've been doing good, says. Been working on your home theater room. Ah, oh, cool. Nice. You gonna share pictures on the Discord? You're feeling better, but not there. But almost on. Glad to hear that. Mr. Spock says, are you gonna add an Iron Man selection option for the game? That's a really good question. I haven't even thought about it, Mr. Spock. I probably should, since I'm so crazy about Iron Man. Yeah, I probably will. I don't know if in this initial release I'll do it, but I might do it for version 2 or whatever. Because I'm going to keep working on this for a while after I release it to the public. There's still more spells I want to add and more monsters. I want to have hills far explorable, all that kind of stuff. Add more graphics. 
Yeah, attempt. It's going to be an attempt. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Hair color. Let's make it brown or tan. Paladin's got to wear white, right? That's the stereotype. Good enough. Actually, shield. Let's make the shield white. Ah, that looks boring. Let's make the shield... Well, red. There we go. Okay, we got Jimmy. All right, I think the next person to chat was Boat Ladder. Yeah. No, it was Mr. Spock. Then Boat Ladder. Yes, I did mention Hiltbar. <laughs> We're going to minimum replace the graphics on all the towns. I want to add in some new events that can happen in towns, like some magic shops archery ranges. I want to add in a bunch of stuff to the towns so that they're not so boring. Potentially even recreate the Hillsfar town itself, but make it a lot better than <laughs> in the Hillsfar game. Jimmy says, I love the brutality of Wizardry 8 Iron Man settings where once you wipe it, delete your save. Yeah. And again, you could cheat by backing up your save files and things, but that's okay. If, you, if you're saying you're doing Iron Man, your intentions aren't to cheat anyway. Mr. Spock says, I have faith in you as long as you have a balanced party. That's right. That's what we got to go for. Hey, Moody, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Thanks for giving Moody the shout out. <laughs> okay. So let me think. Third character. We have a paladin... We have a Cavalier. Let me take check out the classes here real quick. So Assassin's out because we have a Paladin. And I did an Assassin last time. I do want a Cleric. I think I'm just going to do a straight Human Cleric. So I can get him leveled up and get higher level spells earlier. Let's make him Caddy good. Yes, I want to choose the weapon proficiency. Hammer, flail, staff sling. Let's see how many hit points we can get. 40-ish? Okay. I was saying earlier, Constitution is that much more important now because when you get raised from the dead, there's a chance. It, it compares to the table in Gary Gygax's books to see if you're going to get killed. And you'll permanently get destroyed if uh, you fail that save. This is pretty good. No, we need higher wisdom to get the spell bonuses. Oh, this was so good. No, I can't do it. We got to get the spell bonuses now. Oh my gosh. Game's taunting me. Just give me all these great attributes and then low wisdom. I did add resurrection to the temples, by the way, because I've made raise dead follow the rules where there's a timeout on it. You can only be dead so long and then it won't work. Plus, you can't raise from the dead if your corpse gets destroyed by fire or acid. That's another rule. The resurrection can bring you back from either of those. Plus it can bring back elves. But I made it extremely expensive because 
with Ray's dead, the caster faces the penalties. The caster has to be bedridden for several days. They age a year, etc. With resurrection, no, no, I said it backwards. With raised dead, the victim that you're raising gets those. With resurrection, it's the caster that has the bad side effects. They age three years and they're bedridden. So someone working at a temple <laughs> that re resurrects you would age three years. So they're going to make you pay for it. I really want to get 18 wisdom. <laughs> Resurrection will also return lost limbs because you can get things severed in this game now. There's things that can decapitate, chop off hands, legs. Raise dead won't bring that back. In fact, raise dead won't bring you back if your head's severed. But resurrection will. Man, it's being really stubborn with that wisdom. Hey, Zachary, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You don't want to be the unpopular dog's body at the temple. That's right. Oh, man. I guess it's hard to be wise in this world. Ooh. Dang it. That was, that was close. If strength would have been a little higher, I would have taken that. Can't do 15 dexterity. This is pretty bad. Hit points are good. Wisdom's great. Dexterity's not that good. Strength's good. Constitution's okay. All right, we'll just take it. Mr. Spock. Let's give him a flail. Moody says, just as bad, dying from disintegration. Yeah. Yep, that's a bad one. No way to come back from that. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, I do flail around a lot. Kind of like this. That's not the color. That's kind of cool. All right, we got our cleric. So we got a elf cavalier, human paladin, human cleric. Let's do a halfling. Halflings can be clerics or druids, fighter, thief, thief or fighter. Mm. 
but I've mentioned I've eliminated the level caps for races, but I've had a I put a penalty that causes the experience to go up drastically once you reach those levels where it caps. It does it per class though. So like since Thief was unlimited, you don't get a penalty for that one, but the fighter eventually would if you did a fighter thief. The Druids, they hit that cap on that pretty early. So we'd start experiencing penalties there. Man, I just don't know if I want to do a fight or thief. Let's go for it. Make him true neutral. All right, fighter thief. I have no idea what weapons I'm going to end up finding. Let's do two handed sword, battle axe, weapon specialty, two handed sword. Rod sword, hammer, long bow, short bow, composite long bow. We'll be good with all the bows. You can find heavy crossbows now, but they're pretty rare. Uh, let's do a light crossbow. Hmm. Sling. I'll be using a lot of ranged weapons, probably. Trident. Okay. Let's get 19 Constitution and 18 Dexterity, if possible. Dexterity was too low. Ooh. This is good. Okay, I think Boat Ladder was next. All right, that looks good to me. Okay, we need a magic user. Do I go for the elf? What would that benefit us? Make us sleep. We're already level five, so sleep's not really a big deal. Um, charm resistance, a good thing. Not going to be using a sword or a short bow, so that doesn't benefit us. I don't think there's any reason to make an elf. Unless I was going to multi-class. No, let's not do that. Hmm. Could do an illusionist, a gnome illusionist. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a gnome illusionist and then a human magic user. We're going to have lots of casters. We won't have a druid, but I did a druid last time.
Okay, yes, I do want to choose my own spells. Choose weapon proficiency, yes. Darts, quarter staff. All right, first level, my first pick on a first level. Hmm. Spook's actually really interesting, especially for a caster. Because you can get someone right in front of you or right next to you to run away. If someone comes up on the magic user, that's always a problem. Or you're in the back and then some monster will come up right next to the magic user. And that's a good first level spell. I'm going to take that. All right, second level. Mine is deafness, mirror image, invisibility, detect magic, blur, hypnotic pattern. I come going to get mirror image. Blur is a great buff spell. Let's get that. All right, third level. Fear, invisibility, 10-foot radius, paralyzation, wraith form, and phantom steed. Phantom Steed will only help you outdoors. Wraith Form, I'm definitely getting that. That's going to make him uh, be immune to normal weapons, not magical weapons. Well, it's on. And you can still cast, you just can't attack. Okay, let's reroll. Whoa, 41 hit points. Holy moly. We get 17 dexterity. Yeah, we can. Okay, it's just not easy. Ooh, 18. Eight hit points. <sighs> 38. We get a damage bonus, but no Thaco bonus. All right, we'll take this. It's pretty good. All right, who is next to chat? Let me look. Saztam was. Gnome Illusionist. Find me. All right, finally we got a mage. Yes to choose our own spells. Yes to weapon proficiencies. All right, spells. Magic missile. Thinking Cloud. Really should get Knock. I want Mirror Image, but really should get Knock. Third level.
Guess I'll go ahead and go with Fireball. How many hit points can we get? 29 or so is the max. Let's try to get high dexterity. Hey, DC, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Good luck at the Iron Manning. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> We're going to make an attempt. It's going to be really, really rough. How have you been doing, DC? Thanks for giving DC the shout out. DC Bueller's is alias. Rudy says, Stinking Cloud, big surprise. <laughs> yeah, um, DC's played all the gold box games many times. So he's definitely in expert category. Resting in bed still. Been sick past couple days. Ah, sorry to hear that. There's been a lot of sickness going around lately. I've heard of so many people. Okay, this isn't bad. I think I'm going to take this. All right, who was the next to chat? Let's take a look here. So says, I'm Addict. I think you are next. I'm Addict just made it and made the last cut there. <laughs> Jimmy says it is different in the remaster, so we'll see how effective it is. Which, what is different? There's a lot of things that are different, yeah, in the remaster. Okay, here we go. Human. Magic user. Here we go. Pointy hat. Let's have him wear green. All right, we got our party. This, this is what we got. An elf female cavalier who has a unicorn. This is her mount. Mounts are only usable outdoors. Uh, Jimmy Colorado, the paladin, human. Mr. Spock, the human cleric. Boat Ladder, the halfling fighter thief with 19 constitution. Because we're going to get him regeneration. Lemonhead ST, the gnome illusionist. And Com Addict, human magic user. Pretty well balanced. Not that many tanks. We got two tanks. Mr. Spock. Bow ladder, kind of. All right. Let's save it. And you're about to witness a new feature I just added in. Do you want to view the journal entry? Yes. And look at that. You get to see the journal entry. You were brought in by a group of red robes in red robes they said you'd found said they found you on the road near death they paid for your rooms in advance so you can stay as long as you'd like you had those tattoos when you came in but i've never seen anything like them Melanie the sage could help you though you should go see her two blocks north all right let's go get equipment first hey jeff welcome to the stream how are you doing Oh, Stinking Cloud. Yeah, Stinking Cloud is definitely different. Yeah, it's got some big advantages, even more so in, than in the past, but it also has a disadvantage or two as well. Jeff says, imagine missing 37 minutes of rootin' tootin' iron bootin' deep forte gaming. <laughs> oh, Jeff, you're funny. I'm still waiting, Jeff. If for you to watch house and report in. I finished it last night. 
the 1977-ish Japanese horror comedy. Thanks for giving Jeff the shout out, by the way. Alias Jeffertainment. Okay, so Bo, let's take a look at his specialty. So, plus one to hit with a lance if mounted. And then weapon proficiencies. So, weapon of choice is the longsword. So, we definitely are buying one of those. Uh, and then we chose a short bow. So, let's get that. Long sword, short bow, 100 arrows. Now, what armor do I want to go with? Probably banded, healed. They go 12, not bad. And we already get a one and a half attacks with it at level five. That's sweet. You never got around to it, Jeff? Oh, that's okay. I know I keep bugging you. I only bugging you because I'm curious to see what you think. Moody says you forgot the in a ditch after found on the side of the road. <laughs> that's true, Moody. Good point. <laughs> Medic says indeed. Okay, Jimmy, let's take a look at him. So, military pick and short bow, that's what I picked. Oh, no, I didn't pick. I let the computer pick. And that's what the computer chose. All right, military pick it is. Let's see, military pick. There's a fork. There it is. Pick. It also picked a short bow. Okay. Nice. Mr. Spock. Flail, hammer, and staff sling. Well, we'll get three hammers to throw. Staff sling, band and mail, shield. Okay. Tom says, for me, Deforte is not as bad as the badass gamer who has no remorse to ditch NPCs and ditches. Oh, I'm known as. I <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> well, it's just a game, so that that's what I would say to that. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, look at that. Look at the halfling. Is that from the halfling? That's amazing. Plus five versus... Spell, Rod, Staff, and Wand. Amazing. Paralyzed Poison Death Magic is bad. But that plus five lowers the spell down to, what, 13? Rod, Staff, and Wand's only going to be seven. Okay, what proficiencies... Two-handed sword, we got plus one to hit and plus two damage. So we're definitely going to get that. And then we'll get a composite longbow, maybe? Can't do a shield. We have two-handed sword. 1d10 plus 1 against normal size. They go 14. Not bad, they go for level 4 slash 5 with 17 strength. 
All right, says Tam. He's the illusionist. He's got great bonus there, too. Plus one hit with dart, plus one with quarter staff. By the way, I've expanded the inventory. You can see here it can go to 80 now instead of 16. Because I read in the rules and the weight already encompasses bulkiness. So there was no point to limit the inventory that much. I guess we're going to quarter staff. And Hom Addict, same deal, Dart, and Dagger for him. All right, we are equipped. Let's go memorize. Hmm. Let's let's test our enlarge and see how much of a difference it makes at level five. Eighteen ninety one. That's a big boost. Okay, and that's what we're doing. Five enlarges. Stinking cloud for now. There we go. Once we get into the sewers, we'll memorize knock one time. All right. Says the illusionist. Let's get, let's look at our armor classes. Let's get two phantom armors. One spook, two color rays, air image blur, wraith form. Yes, wraith form now, we memorize it immediately. Okay. Oh, it doesn't last that long. Forgot how long it lasts. I feel like it's it's a decent duration. I don't have the manual pulled up. All right, and boat ladder? No, it's Mr. Spock. Oh, it's showing cleric six four. That's not right. Let me reload and see if it registers properly, and I'll make a note of that. Ah, uh, that's not right. What race is he? Human. All right, let me see if I can find this real quick. I'm debugging.
for the sake of the stream. Let's see if I can force this in. Zero, two, we're going to make a three. Right, let's see if that gives us the spells we need temporarily. Boom. Okay, let's see here, what do we want? So Flame Walk's interesting, Death Door's interesting, they get Flame Protection we don't need to worry about in this game really. Let's get a prayer. Did it actually, eh. it's not going to remember, I'd have to force it every time. Okay, let me do something different then. Fix it like this. Zero, two, we're going to set to three. Okay. Hey Tim, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Tim's on a three stream watch streak. Okay, well, I can't get that to register. I'll do that offline. So let's do hold person. Um, don't think we need to worry about fire yet. Yeah, we won't really need to worry about silence either. Aid's nice. Let's get one of those. Detect magic. Cure light wounds. Bless. Okay. So we need to talk to the sage, tell the truth, journal entry 38, view the journal entry, yes, they're the symbol of five different organizations, three I recognize, one I've never seen and the last causes me some concern. The flame and dagger is the symbol of the fire knives, a group of assassins who last operate out of the west gate. That group has been destroyed, so they must have a new base of operation. I fear I do not know where. The mouth in the palm is the symbol of the god Moander. This god was banished from the world, but he reappeared briefly as a pile of filth. It laid waste to the section of the city of Yolish before its defeat. The cult's color is of choice is green. The ornate Z in the triangle is the symbol of the Zentrum, the black network. Zachary says your guest support henchmen rules eventually in in-party retainers. Um, 
Kind of. I already have it where when you charm things, they will stay in your party until the charm wears off. Um, I'm not sure yet about the henchman stuff. Maybe. You're very happy. Just made a three-stream watch streak. Glad to hear it, Tim. Um, doing great. Thanks for asking. Uh, let's see. These are an evil alliance of priests, mages, and thieves operating out of Zenal Keep. Some say that they run Zenal Keep. The flaming symbol I've never seen, so I can give you no information. The last symbol with the crescent moon bears a disturbing similarity to a powerful sage in Shadowdale. For my own safety, I'll say no more about it. Move away. Nobody's ready, just begin. Yes, I do want to make a purchase. We're going to buy some flasks of oil. Paladin can't use it. Cavalier yeah, can't use it. Cleric can. Ah, uh, that's a bit heavy. There we go. Illusionist can use it. Mage can use it. All right, the temple. So as you can see here, I've added resurrection. Okay, we are ready to fight the guards. So the first attempt, oh, yeah, let's get our enlarges on here. Let's get a bless. Might as well do an aid, put it on bow. Phantom armor on the ones in the back. Wraith form on Saz. Saz will be the ultimate tank now. Because these guys don't have magic weapons. you over here. Actually, we'll send you down here. Color spray. Nice. They're all held or unconscious. Yeah, we'll go ahead and surrender. Just look at those armor classes. Thanks to the illusionist phantom armor.
Let's see, what did we cast? We did an aid, did a bless. Not gonna worry about the third level until I stream next time. Actually, we need to we need to get a knock. Okay. The door, the side door explodes inward with a deafening crash. Traitor scum hisses the fire knife. Ooh, that one just threw a vial. I wonder if that was poison. Let's get this protection from evil aura over here. Yeah, that was poison. The thief just threw it. It did show a boulder instead of a vial. Okay, mage. Fireball time. Hey, Wolfside, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Nice. Oh, I forgot to do the enlarges. So now, most of the time, the enemies are going to try to step out of that stinking cloud. Not always. Yeah, see, that guy stepped out instead of staying in it. All the improvements I made. He is coughing, though, so he can be potentially uh, slain. Oh, I'm ethereal. I can't attack. Uh, let's do color spray if I can get in position here. Blinded. Nice. You're doing good? You just stopped a Wizardry 8 run for a break? Cool. Easy ethereal. I don't want to get out of that form.
Oh, shoot him with your bow. You found the mountain range seeker dungeon. Never did it before. Mountain range seeker dungeon. Oh, okay. No, the northern wilderness seeker dungeon. Gotcha. Good old retro dungeon. One of three. So Saz is a ethereal, so they can't hurt him. Zero damage. Those other thieves are going to need help killing that one thief. Oh, the thieves are still with us that temporarily joined us. Okay, so these are probably poison vials. Maybe. Let's see. Dart? I wonder what kind of dart that is. View journal entry, yes. So that's, I encompass pictures as well, but the resolution's so low you can't see a darn thing on it. Eventually, I need to make it much higher quality and outside the game engine itself somehow. Like, outside that limitation. Hey there, Jartza. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? This is uh, Curse of the Azure Bonds remastered. I've been remastering the game. Okay. Let's 
stop this. Yeah, that's what I thought. I had too many characters in the party from the uh, the thieves that joined. Look here. I'm going to have to uh, fix something here real quick. Zachary says, if a charm wears off while you're sleeping, do the four thieves kill you in your sleep or disappear? No, they disappear. Um, if you read the description of the charm spell they're they're kind of like under the influence of the caster only but they're not like mad at you or something when they when it wears off it's more like they're no longer under a daze they're no longer under the influence so they just kind of walk off like wander off in a daze until it clears up so they they're not mad at you by any means Okay, let's see here. I gotta fix this real quick. convenient yeah and if if in the middle of a battle charm wears off they don't suddenly turn on you and attack you they actually will surrender to the enemy so so they'll switch sides but surrender so you don't have to fight them
Yeah, the the save file I have is um saying there's only one player because it got confused. Let's see if I can try to force this. Probably not gonna work. Yeah, that's definitely not right. I'm not sure I have the right save file here. Let's see if I can get this one to work. Sorry. That's why we're testing. All right. Okay. Oh, looks like I gotta do this fight over. Eh. Okay, well, this will be a test to see if I at least fix the crash, the corruption of the save file. We're still gonna have the thieves in our party, but hopefully the save will work correctly. Let's see. Boat ladder. I think I'm going to have you throw a flask of oil here. Let's see if we can ignite someone. Miss. Jimmy, the paladin. Let's get you into a good position. So protection from evil is a thing. Old person. Oh, that was funny. The backstab attack appeared when they threw the knife. I don't think that should be allowed. I'll have to look in the rules, but I don't remember anything saying you can backstab by throwing a knife from behind. I would venture to say that's probably illegal. <laughs> he did it again. Another backstab from behind. Thanks, Tim. I think I'm going to go into Wraith form now. They're all throwing their daggers. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's hold the fire knives if possible. Nice. Let me stay put. Okay, now you can come up here. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, that was another bug. Shouldn't have taken damage from behind in Wraith form. It had to do with the phantom armor being uh, disbelieved. Needs to check if you have Wraith Form or something and then still make it do zero damage. Okay. Jimmy says, I think... Kipper ran into into that in Death Knights of Crim 2. Can't remember if he considered it a bug. The backstab with throwing. Yeah, it sure seems like a bug to me. I don't remember reading anything in the rules about being able to do that. Oh, this is the Cavalier. That's why we're getting those extra things. Nice. Yeah, ranged backstab. I think from behind is fine, but it shouldn't have been a backstab. Now we gotta chase down some thieves. It's a little less this time. All right, we'll see if it saves properly this time. So there's a vial and a dart again. Let's just double check, make sure none of this is magical. I don't think it will be. Nope, okay. Now, will it save? I'm going to save under B. No, nope, I still got an error. Let's see where I got my error.
Do the fight again. We're getting good practice. <laughs> Uh, I'll fix the real issue offline. Now I'll remember to do all my buffs this time. What other buffs do we have? Aid. Put down Mr. Spock. Bless. Jimmy says, look at this loot, a.k.a. garbage, according to Forte. Yeah, you'll notice there's there's a chance now for some of the equipment to be upgraded. It's not likely at all, but it is possible. And then there's a chance for things to be um, downgraded, too. So you'll end up with a little bit of variance in what the monsters have and the treasure you find. See if we get a better fireball this time. Oh, I just knocked out bow. Knocked out bow ladder too. <laughs> the boat ladder goes down with one cruel blow. <laughs> okay, that guy's blinded. Mix of stuff, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, that was a terrible fireball. <laughs> we trade from above. Let's see. Stinking cloud. There goes Bo. Bo's killed. Thief surrenders. Oh, that's an ally.
Let's see if we get our hole done successfully. Fail. Wow, they still resist it. Yeah, let's come out of Wraith form. We can throw darts. Let's see if we can handle the flask of oil. Armor class 4 evidently is hard to hit when you're level 5. This time we found a club. What a meta club. Studded leather. Someone got an upgrade. Broadsword. Okay. Now, is it going to save? No, it failed. Uh, another spot. Let me look. Oh, that's when it's trying to save the legacy game. So I save a version for the old Curse Azure Bonds in case you want to try to import your characters into that. Party count is less than. Okay. Well, the good news is I don't have to cheat with an Iron Man run because the game file got corrupt. This should be the last time, hopefully. Bad news is I have to do the fight over again. Let's not make the same mistake. <laughs> Jimmy says, I fully expected us to wipe on the first fight. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a lot harder to know how to fight the enemy. Because they have a little bit of randomness to what they'll do. Let's see. Bo, let's put you here. Paladin, let's put you here. Now, let's not do a stupid color spray in a bad position. Let's do it right here. Okay, that's going to hit those three. See, if I do it here, it's going to hit my character. You can see the red around them. So we'll do it right here. Only blinded one. I gotta take a quick break here, guys. Let my dog out. I'll be back in about five minutes.
Okay, everyone, I am back. Let's see, what are we doing? Looks like we're holding. Hey, Bo, you're finally done shopping? Nice. Thank you, Hom and Tim. Probably close to finished. Uh, Bo, this is a different run. This is a new run. Thanks, Bo Lighter. I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to or not. We already beat Curse with the other run. This is an Iron Man attempt without... I mean... I'm running into bugs here and there, but there's not too many to work out. Oh, you mean done streaming for the day? Oh, gotcha. I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, we, we go a little longer here. Yep. Usually around the two hour mark, try to close out. Okay, let's see. That guy's helpless. This one's not. Wow, all th three resisted. Are you done shopping for Christmas? Is that what you're shopping for, Bo? Or unrelated? Oh, yeah, I can't attack. I'm in rape form. You took your father-in-law out to get some cold weather gear as visiting from overseas. Okay. I see. He didn't pack enough Canada, Canada clothing. Oh, boy. That's funny. Not used to that cold Canada weather. Now this, was there a bad guy here? Yeah, that's what I thought. We don't really have anything to use. I guess we could th try to hit him with a flask of oil. Oh yeah, caught him on fire. Nice. Oh, it only did two damage. It does one to six damage that next round, and it only did two damage. Let's 
Still got a dart. All right, I finally saved. Now, when we reload, let's see what happens. In theory, we should only have eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what it does. I may have it go further on the reload. Ha! <laughs> it has bow in there again. <laughs> it double, doubled a cloned bow. <laughs> yeah, it's so confused. Let's try it again. <laughs> Instant cloning, cloning. What class is Bow in his clone? Um, you are an elf cavalier with a unicorn. There we go. So it kept nine characters. All right, I'll work that bug off offline. So we got these three thieves that helped us out still wandering around with us. We'll take it. I probably should get my spells back. Let's see. We're going to be fighting a bunch of dogs. A fire knife next, I think. Uh, old person. Bow squared. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy says, why have one when you can have two at the price, at the twice the price? And this box is my favorite holiday song. We three thieves of Azure Bonds are. <laughs> I see what you did there. No, I did not want to do that. I clicked attack on accident. I'm trying, trying to go too fast. These thieves are still on my side, though. Okay, we're going to fireball a bunch of good thieves. <laughs> Jimmy says he clicked on accident, attack on accident. It really was. I expected the default to be something like say hi or whatever, you know. But the default was on attack. Oh, I can't cast this without hitting. There, we can do it here. They're too high a level. Oh, we've got an effect on them as blind.
That one's blinded. Let's go for it. Missed. Everybody else is helpless. Keep them busy. Heath got away. Good. Less to hunt down. Killed the good thieves. So the variance in these two was a club and a broadsword. All the others had the same equipment that they start with. That just gives you a feel for the randomization I put in. Okay. Now we gotta go back and rest again. Let's go ahead and cast our enlarge. Actually, I should enlarge these thieves and move them up front. You guys go to the front. They go 15. He doesn't have a weapon. He threw his dagger. Give him a dart. Okay. This is the fight I was thinking I was running into. Alright, thieves are up front. That's perfect. You guys take the hits. I, I think this is a random encounter, actually. I don't think this is the set encounter. Fighting dogs. Nice.
Oh, there's a dog left. Wow, look at that AI. The improvement in intelligence. That's what I'm talking about. Escape is blocked. That's kind of weird, isn't it? I really should look up the mechanics on that and see if SSI implemented it right. So it, seem, it seems wrong to me. Let me research it. Did SSI implement running with blocked? Seems kind of lame. There's nothing there. Why is it blocked? I'm guessing that they did that. And it shouldn't be that way. Oh, now we give the thieves some stuff. Long sword, long sword, long sword. Nobody's ready for a level up yet. Maybe it's based on a role they're failing, Jimmy says. It could be. It, I'm sure it probably is. But they're at the edge of the battlefield. No one's behind them. Why is it failing? That, that's what I want to know. Just conceptually, it does not seem right. I'm guessing they did not implement the rules properly. I have found a lot of things like that. Okay, Let's see if we get into the treasure room. This is, yeah, this is the set and counter fight. The same one we just did that was random. But now we got to fight the set one. I want the thieves to move forward. We're going to delay. Uh, wraith form. Their shoelaces are tied, Jimmy says. <laughs> All right, fireball. Let's not hit our thieves. Can't reach that far. Oh, the vision issue. All right, dang. Uh, yeah, the sleep off, take a hit.
And that guy's lost. Battle axe. That's interesting. So fire, fire knives are fighter thieves. So what I do is I have a low chance that it swaps out a weapon or armor they're using, but I only swap it to something that they can actually equip. And since they're fighter thieves, that fire knife got a battle axe. <laughs> I was thinking, why does he have a battle axe? But they're not thieves. They're fighter thieves. So it makes sense. It was just a normal battle axe, so it wasn't magical. Okay, here we go. Now we can rest in here. Ah, look at that. Jimmy Colorado takes and sacrifices his share, being the paladin that he is. And the thieves are taking their share. It's all magical. Let's see here. Yep, this is going on bow. They go 11, they go 10. Nice. Tom says Jimmy is a good man here. Yeah. Band uh, mail. Nice. Potions. Magic user scroll. Ion stone deep red. I don't know which one that is. Let's see, sixteen fifteen. Ooh, that was dexterity. Nice. It's staying on Mr. Spock. All right, guys, this is a good place to save it. Great progress. <laughs> Jimmy says I should be sacrificing the thieves. Yeah. All right, I only have I only found two, maybe three bugs to fix. That's really good. But it does remind me I need to put in the auto save and snapshot saves every once in a while in case there is a corruption issue that the game files won't get corrupted so we'll put that in the next before the next stream mr spock says uh the thieves are going to win you the game <laughs> yeah yeah thanks thanks for hanging out guys it was fun hope you enjoyed it time for on to go sleep yep yeah my pleasure so thanks for watching